Hey, hi, everyone. Welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see what is local variable and how to use the local variable in the Postman. So in our previous video, we have covered uh, global collection, environment, and the data variables. Okay. So in this video, we are going to see what is local variable and how to use the local variable. So like earlier discussed, right? So local variable is most preferred one. Okay, it has the highest preference compared to the global. So global is the last one, next collection, then environment, then data, then temporary, which is a local variable. Okay, we can set the local variable and we can get the local variables. So now let's go and see what is local variable. Okay, so the local variable, I mean, it is similar to the temporary variable where it is can be accessed only within the request script. Okay, which means you cannot use the variables in the collection level. You cannot use the variable in the, uh, the local variable. You cannot use the environment or collection level. So it's going to work only for this particular post request. Or you can have one, one more local variable for the get request. Okay, it is going to work only within the request. Okay, even you cannot share to one request to another request. So it can be like, like uh, on and off. Okay, fine and perfect. So it will be very valid only for this particular request to be processed. So when you click on the send button, so after the response is processed, so that variable no, it it, it, be, it will get expired. Okay, the, the no longer the variable will be stored in anywhere. Okay, so that is what the local variable. So now if you want to define the variable, so for example, in our last class we have seen we have sending this name, job, mobile, all the data from our data, right? So data sheet, which is CSV file or JSON file. Now if you want to define some local variable, what you can do, you can go here, and you can type something like pm dot variables dot set okay so variables dot set so this is how we have to set the local variable so now i'm going to set it as a name so the name i'm going to give it as my name okay so this is called local variable so this variable will be work only for this particular request okay so now for example if i'm um, let's go to the name here so this is a name Right, so this is a variable I have defined. This is going to come from my local variable. So similarly, I have a job, mobile, everything. So let uh, have one more variable set for the local. So this one, let's go for example, skills one. Okay, I'm going to update as this API. And let's for example, experience also will have. So let's copy one more API. I mean, one more variable. So this one is experience. Okay, make sure your variable name that the same name is being sent in the request body also. Okay, so here I'm going to send it as, so this is Boolean value, I'm going to send it as a false. Okay, so now I'm going to send this value. Okay, now I'm going to send this request. So if you want to confirm what went in the name or what went in the skill one and what went in the experience, so let's key in. Okay, you can see the name is going as a my name. And the job is coming from the environment variable. So let me select this, no environment. So just clear this. So now you can see the name is going as my name and the API one is going as an API and the experience is going as a false, right? So that is what we have defined. So why this is going in the string? Because our, our postman variable will store the values. I mean, variables are string. Okay, the postman stored the variable as a string. So that's the reason it is going as a, let me remove this. And if I send this, then it will come as a directly Boolean object. Okay, you can see it is coming as a false. Okay, so this is going from my pre requests. Okay, so what is the postman execution order? The moment when you click on the send button, it will execute all the instructions that you have given in the pre request stand. Then it will process the endpoint. You will get the response. Then if you have given any instruction on the test page, which is a test cases, if you return, then it will be processed. Okay. So that's the reason my, my local variables is set before the execution is, I mean, before they send the request body, then I'm getting the response, okay? So now, for example, I'm going to use the name here, okay? So let's, for example, or we'll send the page number from here. Okay, I'm going to set the dot set. I will copy the variable name from here. Okay, this is a variable name. I'm setting as a two here. Okay, so I just say, so now if I try to run this, it will not work. Okay, you can see the page number is going as a page number one. It is, it is not the going the respective value that we have defined in another request. 
So which means this local variable is applicable only for this post method. So if I want to use this one, again, you have to copy this and you can go here and you can go to the prerequisite and you can paste like this. So now the page value will go as a true. You can see in the console, it is going as a true. Okay. So which means the local variables will work only for the particular vector. So for example, I'm having one more duplicate variable on the same name. Okay. So for example, here I'm, I'm having as a three. Okay. Now what happens? It will take the last preferred value. Okay. So now let's see. It is going as a three only, not two. Okay. So now what, I, what will be, we will go to the dev environment. Okay. So in the dev environment variables, I have a name as job also. Okay. So now the name is coming. Okay. Let me go and define here the name as local variable. So in the local variable, I have defined the name as a local variable, but in the environment variable, I have defined as my name. Okay. So now if you look at this as per this priority, right? So which has to come, the local variable has to taken for the consideration. So now let's run this request. You can see it is taking the local variable because my local variable is must, I mean, more priority compared to the environment. So if I comment out this, now it is going to come for my name from the environment variable. I'm sending this request again. You can see it is coming as my name. So which is coming from the environment variable. So in the same request, in the same collection, you can use multiple variables. Like you can use the local variable, collection variable, environment variable, global variable also you can use. Okay. It is not only the restrict, you have to use only collection variable or you have to use only for the environment variable, nothing like that. So for example, let's go here. The collection level variable, I'm going to define the collection variable name name so i'm let's have this name so this name i'm going to give it as so it will always take the initial value current value okay so this one i'm going to give us collection variable okay so just save this one so now i'm going to the post method again so this one i'm going to comment it out okay and i have not selected any environment variable so now this time it is going to take from my collection variable, which is a collection name as a variable. Okay, you can see it is coming as a collection variable. Okay, so now what I will do, I will go to this uh, environment and I will select it as a dev environment. So now as per chart, my environment is the most priority one. Okay, so now what I will do, I will run this. Now it is coming as a server name, which is coming from the environment variable. So let me rename this as a environment. Okay, so if I go to this local variable and if I enable this one, now it has to take from the local variable. Okay, you can see it is coming as a local variable, which means, so as per this priority, your variable will be taken. Okay, if the first preference is local variable. If you have any local variable set for the particular request, that is a recent one. I mean, that is the highest preference. Okay, so if it doesn't have anything, then it will go for a data. So when it is come to the data, it has to go on the collection runner. So for example, uh, in, in last our video, we have seen the how to run the collection data, I mean, data variables so sending from the CSV file or JSON file, right? That is our second priority. Then third one is the environment and then collection, then it will go for a global. So our global is the last one, okay? So this is how we have to set the local variable. So this local variable, you can set in the folder level also. So for example, I'm, I'm just removing everything. And I'm going to the variable stamp. Here you can see three requests, right? So I'm just pasting it here also. So now I don't have any local variable here. Okay. So now if I send this, it will take my from my parent folder. Okay, which is I have given as a pre-request script, right? So this is called folder level and this is for the request level. Okay, so for example, in the collection, you have something like a date, right? So the date, if you are going to use across all the collections, then what you can do, you can set it as a Folder level variable. Okay, pm dot variables dot set today date. Okay. So this date I'm going to set it as 01 and 05 2022. Okay. So now if I want to send this date, so for example, I'm copying this and I'm adding one more attribute today date. So now this date is going to come from my folder level variable. 
Now you can see the date, whatever we have defined in the pre request script as a folder level. This is what coming in the response. Okay. So this local variable you can define as a each request. So when you define, when you limit for only the request level, that is going to work only for the request. So if you are applying in the folder level, so the same date, no, for example, here we'll uh, go to the query parameter, we'll add the today date. Okay, in the parameter, today, this is a variable name. So I'm pasting it here, okay. So now it will come as an unresolved variable. Since it's a local variable, it, it does not have any reference on the postman or placeholder. So this will work only on the runtime. So now I'm sending this request. So now you can see what went in the today date value. You can see it is going as a 0, 1, 2, 22, which is we have defined in the folder level. Okay. So you can define the variables in the folder level also for the local variable and the collection variable also you can define like this. Okay. And the priority as per this order, this priority will be executed. Okay, so first thing, local variable. So local variables, it is limited. So for example, uh, you have specific, uh, some variables that being uh, you have to use for only the particular request, then you can go for the local variable. And if it is something particular for the collection level, then you can go for the collection level. If you want to go for different environment, then we can go for environment variables, okay? Global, it is very common across all the projects, you can go for the global variables, okay? And this local variable will work in the collection level also. So for example, I'm going to run this collection. Okay, so I'm just going to store the response also. So now if you go to the request body, so it is going as a local variable. Okay, it will work when you run as a collection also. And when you run as an individual request also. Okay, the local variable scope is limited to only for the particular request. Okay. You cannot share one local variable defined here. You cannot share the, the same variable to the another request. Okay. But if, if you define in the folder level, that will work. Okay. If you are going to define in the folder level local variable, that will work fine. Okay. That will work for the entire request. Okay. Whatever the request that you have inside the collection, it is applicable. Okay. But the scope, I mean, uh, when to define the environment variable, when to define the collection variable, so that is your case. I mean, you have to define. So if the if the variable is applicable for this complete collection, then you can define as a collection variable. Okay. If you feel like no, this is a variable only. It is applicable for this particular request. Then you can define for only the request level. Okay. So that's all about the local variables. So we have something like a dynamic variables that we see in another video. Thank you, guys.